Last month, following the 30-day separation waiting period required by New Mexico, Yvette filed to divorce Mohammed. She's ready for it to be over, but that may take some time. In addition to the divorce, Eve is also grappling with the aftermath of authorities arresting her after Mohammed accused her of domestic battery. Mohammed is still pressing charges. Eve has now given the court a list of the evidence that she hopes will clear her name. Early last month, Yvette Arellano appeared in court for her bond arraignment hearing. This was a full month ago. At the time, they scheduled the pre-trial conference for October 4th. That date has come and gone. Earlier this week, Eve and Mohammed faced off in a set pre-trial conference. As the result of a discovery filing, the court and the rest of us learn of some alleged evidence in the case. Online court records list potential evidence in the case as 911 audio, two lapels, 22 images, four audio files, one AV. The sleuths over at Starcasm were able to obtain copies of the court filings. It's unlikely no surprise that the prosecutor plans to call Mohammed Abdelhamad as one of his initial witnesses. The officer from the scene and the custodian of 911 records are also included on the witness list. Vaguely, the witness list includes any witnesses listed by the defendant. That's Eve, of course. It is unclear who Yvette may attempt to call to the stand. She may have more luck with electronic evidence. As you may recall, Mohammed accused Yvette of domestic battery as part of an alleged scuffle over his phone. According to what he told law enforcement, Eve demanded to see his phone to look for evidence of cheating. This summer, screenshots showing Mohammed's affair and more surfaced. Later, he admitted that they were real. According to Mohammed's allegations, Eve ended up pressing her leg against his neck during the struggle for the phone. Allegedly, if that happened, it certainly was wrong. But 90 Day Fiancé viewers have expressed understandable doubts. Simply put, Mohammed's texts reveal more than just an affair, and more than his insults toward Eve and her son Faran. Mohammed also vowed to use Eve just long enough to get his green card, and then ditch her. That was no surprise, his own words and behavior on the show hinted as much. But Mohammed and his mistress also discussed contingencies in case Eve, his wife, found out what he was planning. There are visas that exist as they should for victims of crimes. These are to keep abusers and predators from threatening victims into silence with the specter of deportation. It appears that Mohammed in his side piece laid out plans to lie to get such a visa if Eve found out, which, of course, she did. We do have to emphasize that planning to tell a lie does not mean that a true thing cannot happen. Someone planning to fake their own death could be murdered, for example. But the court would be remiss if no one at least considered Mohammed's own words when determining if he is telling the truth. Eve is not only relying upon those infamous texts, however. She plans to introduce ample evidence to the court, including a lot of text messages from her, from friends, and from Mohammed himself. Yvette will also include an August 2nd police report, her own work schedule, phone records, and photos showing her location with timestamps. We likely won't know more until the next pre-trial conference on November 3rd. So let's just all patiently wait and see what's gonna happen. Subscribe not to miss anything. Have a nice day, my dudes.